In this video, I will share to you a tool that can quickly set up your hacking environment. This is called Hack Shell. This is a disposable shell that you can activate on any Linux host. All your commands are cleared once you log out. It will not write anything on disk, making it very stealthy. To activate it, we need to get it from this URL. Once activated, it will show you a list of commands you can use. It will give you a new prompt and some instructions if you want to put your home directory under dev shm. Let's try command ws, which will display the basic system information. Let's exit the shell and switch again to that user. All commands we executed earlier are gone from history. If we are trying to find our way to root, we can execute LPE. This will invoke LinPs, which is the most popular tool for finding privilege escalation vectors. We can easily fire up a network scanner. This is really useful for finding online hosts quickly. In most scenarios, there are tools and binaries not available on your target host like Nmap. We can easily download this using bin command. This will download the pre-compiled tools from this site. We see here that it creates a place for us to store the binary. This is in devshm, which is still in memory. It's interesting also how the directory was named. Probably this is intentional to better hide it from defenders. After the download is complete, we can confirm that it was dropped on that path. Let's go inside that directory using xcd command. Now let's try running nmap. If you are looking for passwords, you can use the loot command to search for common secrets stored on disk. A common example would be database credentials. When connecting to a remote machine via SSH, our connection will appear on the list of remote users. For demonstration purposes, let's try to connect to another Linux host using standard SSH method. Then on the target, let's execute W command. Here we appear connected from a remote host as John. In order to avoid detection, we can use XSSH command to hide us from that list. Let's fire up that command. Then on the target, let's execute W command again. This time, we no longer see our connection from the list. So, this command is really handy to avoid detection when doing lateral movement. There are more things to explore on this tool, but I will let you do it on your own. Please use this for ethical purposes only. Thank you for joining me in this video. See you on the next one.